Hello everyone. Today I would like to show you how to export the high poly and low poly model from Blender to Substance. What I'm, I am going to do is export only two FBX, one FBX for the low poly model and one FBX for the high poly model. And each, each file it will have all the objects inside. Instead of exporting each object separately, I will export only uh, only these two FBX. So this is the high poly model, and this is the low poly model. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to to export this. Here I have two collections: one collection for the low poly model and one collection for the high poly model. Each col each collection has all the objects separately. Okay, we have the the grip. Uh, well, well, everything is separate. And here I have the high poly model with the same objects, with the same names for each one, but at the end it has the the suffix high. And in the low, in the low poly objects, each object has the same name, but at the end it has the suffix uh, low. So this way, with the low, with the suffix low and the suffix high, in uh, substance will will make only those those objects separately from the others. And this way you can prevent overlapping in the baking process. So let's do this. First of all, make sure you have all the um, unwrap made as we have here. Make sure to have the, the seams and the, and the sharp edges correctly uh, made and make sure you have only one material for all the objects. I turn on the collection, select everything in that in the low poly in the low poly collection, choose file, export FBX and export uh, give it the name. Uh, remember to check this option so you can export only the selected objects. Choose export FBX I already exported is this file, so I am not going to export it. But you can choose export and and you're done. Then turn on the low poly, the high poly collection. Again, select everything. And remember to set the in the modifiers how many subdivisions you would like to export here in the viewport. Uh, option then go to file export F FBX I already created uh, another folder the folder the name is high so go to, go to high choose a name remember to check to check the selected objects option and choose export FBX I'm not going to export it because I, I already uh, did it, so I'm going to click cancel. When you are done with that, go to Substance, create a new project, file new. Here you can select the low poly, the low poly model. So I'm going to the low poly folder, uh, right here. Select the low, the low poly file. FBX, choose open. In my case, I'm going to turn on compute tangent space per fragment. Uh, this is not necessary. In my case, I'm going to turn it on. Choose OK. Here we have the low poly, the low poly gun, and now we are, go we are going to uh, to set the high poly model, so we can bake the mesh maps. 
uh, go to the texture set settings panel click back mesh maps here I'm going to to set this to 2k for example I'm going to turn off everything everything except the, the normal and diamond occlusion so we can we can make this uh, faster and these mesh maps are in general are the maps the mesh maps that you can check the, the problems okay uh, then here we can load the high poly model go to the high folder I click the high poly mesh in my case is this file choose open um, this is this is really important you have to choose um, how are you going to to make the match between the low poly mesh and the high poly mesh if you don't change this all the names all the the object names uh, with the suffix low and the suffix high uh, will ignore will ignore all those uh, object names to use the the suffix you have to to click here and choose by mesh name with this option turned on will uh, substance will use the suffix low for the low poly and the suffix high for the high poly remember to check that this is uh, case sensitive okay so this is important uh, it has to be exactly the same uh, okay we are we are ready and we are going to to click bake so I'm going to accelerate this so you can see it faster the baking is done here we have the the low poly with the mesh maps done we can see that there's no overlapping within within the objects that means that the suffix uh, worked okay and exporting only two fex from blender works works fine you can check here uh, if the mesh maps are okay also you can check the normal map if you need to increase the quality you can increase the resolution of the mesh maps but there's no overlapping there's no overlapping there's no overlapping so it's okay I hope this could be useful for all the Blender community that is using Blender and, and Substance Painter. Um, remember to subscribe um, and see you next video.